Welcome to our demonstration of the application of 3M Coban 2 compression systems that shows the cutting technique. Many patients with lower extremity edema and venous ulcers have extreme contours, where applying a simple spiral bandage may be challenging. Because of the unique cohesive properties, 3M Coban 2 compression systems can be adapted to fit a variety of contours using a cutting technique or a follow the roll technique. The goal will be to create an anatomical fit around the patient's limb that results in a firm, inelastic sleeve that provides the ideal resistance to the muscle dynamics within the bandage. Let's begin the demonstration using the cutting technique. For this application, I'm using Coban 2 Compression System 3M number 2094 to demonstrate the cutting technique. If I were using the Coban 2 Light Compression System 3M number 2794E, the application would be the same. The compression layer of each of these systems has been specifically designed to deliver an effective level of subbandage pressure when applied at full stretch. This reduces the guesswork and variability of applications. Because the two layers cohere together, you may cut the materials and redirect the application to accommodate leg contours. Clinical studies have proven that this full stretch application results in a comfortable bandage that supports your patient's normal ambulation and provides sustained therapeutic compression. When applying the comfort layer, the goal is to create an anatomical fit around the leg, covering all the skin and leaving no gaps, with as thin a layer as possible. Position your patient comfortably with the calf muscle relaxed and the foot supported in a 90 degree dorsiflexed position. You can accomplish this relaxed position by supporting the knee off the bed or with the leg hanging freely. Applying compression with the muscle relaxed results in a firm inelastic sleeve that provides the ideal resistance to the muscle dynamics within the bandage. When the patient's leg is unsupported, the muscles are under tension, resulting in a less effective compression system. Apply the comfort layer with the foam side towards the patient's skin with just enough tension to conform to the shape of the leg. The comfort layer provides several proven benefits. It provides a soft, comfortable base layer. It mechanically adheres to the skin when compressed and the cohesive backing interlocks with the compression layer to reduce the potential for slippage and uncomfortable bunching at the ankle. The foam layer is permeable and will evaporate skin moisture but is not intended to be a primary wound dressing. Start the application of the comfort layer with a circular winding at the base of the toes, beginning at the fifth metatarsal. This technique provides neutral, comfortable foot alignment. The second circular winding should come across the top of the foot so that the middle of the bandage width approximately covers the articulating aspect of the ankle joint. Bring the next winding around the back of the heel, so the bandage edge is even with the bottom of the foot. Imagine that if your patient was standing, the edge would just dust the floor. In most cases, the posterior plantar surface of the heel is not completely covered. Complete coverage of this area isn't necessary, as it requires an extra winding over the ankle joint and would make the total application unnecessarily thick and less comfortable. Cut the bandage and gently press it into place. On a leg with a narrower ankle, there may be a small fold of comfort layer material in the Achilles area. This is normal and you will guide it off the Achilles area into the natural depression behind the malleolus. It will lay down smoothly when the foam compresses with the application of the compression layer. With minimal overlap, bring this layer around the ankle and cut it when it overlaps the underlying material. Proceed up the leg with individual windings and minimal overlap until a circular application is possible applying with just enough tension to allow the comfort layer to conform to the leg contours. Press to conform each winding. Tape should not be necessary. 
By applying the material in individual pieces, you can see how the bandage conforms smoothly to the anatomy without any gaps or bunching. This direct skin contact provides optimal mechanical adherence of the comfort layer when compressed against the skin. The goal is to keep the applications thin for a low profile and to allow normal shoe options and comfortable ambulation. End the application just below the fibula head or two fingers width below the crease at the back of the knee. As you end the application, apply light pressure and cut off the excess material. Mould the layers together to ensure that the bandage windings cohere to each other. There's no need for tape to secure the end. For more information on 3N compression therapy, visit the website.